This week we'll swing by the six unit in Logan Square. We'll also discuss a little bit about why Logan Square is so popular right now. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. There's gonna be uh, just different. Someone else you're gonna be paying rent to. That's it. Right, right. What happened? You guys, I thought you guys were gonna tear it down, right? Something like that. It's not me. I'm just the broker, man. <laughs> So we just got back from the sixth unit on Fairfield. We had a relatively promising showing. The challenge with that sixth unit is it does have some very glaring deficiencies. There's some questionable structural deficiencies. Each individual unit has at least 10, 15, 20,000 in cosmetic work along with mechanical work. So we're looking for a buyer who can see past some of these issues and recognize the value. Its location is probably one of the most desirable up and coming locations in Chicago. And then it's a legal six unit building. And in Chicago, that's incredibly rare to have six units on one parcel of land, especially when that land is what we call a standard Chicago lot. So that's 25 feet wide by 125 feet long. And the reason I bring that up is the city only allows a certain number of dwelling units per lot square footage. And they're gonna have six units where normally they're gonna be able to get three. I always tell my buyers, you know, we're gonna do as much due diligence as we can. There's not gonna be a single person who understands the numbers better. However, we're never gonna have perfect information. We're gonna have 95% information. You know, we're gonna to get to feel as good as we can, but in the end, it's a roll of the dice. It's an investment. If it were a sure thing, everyone would be doing this. However, the reason people like real estate and investing in real estate is if you're smart about it, if you have the right people with you, your returns should be in the six, seven, eight percent range, which is obviously better than what the stock market is giving you, what bonds are giving you, and it's steady income, it's passive income. So in a perfect scenario, once you have a building like this rented, you're sitting back, maybe you're taking care of some maintenance here and there, but the money is going to be coming in at a seven or 8% return. And that doesn't even say anything to whether or not the market will pick up and you're gonna be making money on the back end. So you bought a place in Logan Square, almost on the edge of Humboldt Park, right at uh, Armitage and California, more or less. Yeah. What do you like about that particular area in general, Logan Square, Humboldt? Yeah. Why do you like being over there? Well, we live off of a 606, so you know, having a young family, it allowed me to have a little bit more space for the money, um, and you were good to, to tell me what the trade-offs were. But, you know, close to the park, close to 606, we can walk pretty much everywhere. There's tons of restaurants and bars that are popping up. You know, I used to live in Lincoln Park. I used to live in River North. Um, and it, I found that I was always going out to dinner in those neighborhoods. As of recently, I'm finding that more people are actually coming to Logan Square or Bucktown or Humboldt Park to have dinner and to go out to, to get drinks. And so it's much more convenient for Danielle and I. <laughs> Um, it's, it's new and fresh and there's new places that are popping up literally every single week. You send them to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's just lively and it's grown. It's fun. And then finally, this might be the most important question. What is it like going to work with one of your closest friends every day? It's a dream. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like walking in and, and seeing the smiling face every day. Uh, even though our jobs are completely different and separated, like, there's nothing better. Mm. Happy Passover. Thanks for putting me on camera. <laughs> on the spot, man. <laughs> you think you're walking out the door. Uh.